back in call rail we do have four numbers set up for the website pool but what i like to do is get one more since you've pay you paid for five and i want to use this number for the mobile click to call extension and the reason is right now in our campaign we have that set up but that's all we have i mean it doesn't give you as much detail as um, the call rail does. So it gives you the name, the phone number, the call duration, first time. If it was not a, a um, if it was a repeat call, it's just a lot more data. And the more data you have with these campaigns, the better. Okay, so when we get to this page, we're gonna use it online, but we're not gonna use it on the website. We're gonna use it in our Google ads. So this is gonna be in an ad extension. And I'm going to use it for both in case, you know, somebody wants to call, have it on their, on their, their desktop show up and then they, they manually do it. Then uh, I want it there as well. So we're going to route the calls to the same place. Phone number set up. So we get to pick which one we want. Doesn't matter. I'm going to call this. We're going to call it Google ads call extension. Same thing, you can do the whisper message and the call recording if you want. I'm gonna activate it. So now we're all set up. So now we have a call extension and the website pool. So those are set up, the numbers are swapping, but right now this campaign is not tied to Google Ads. So we're gonna do that next. Let's go to the mobile click to call extension now. So I'm gonna sign in again. You have to sign in, do the same thing, allow it. Same thing, select the company. And then you have to pick which number you want to use. There's only one that we haven't used. If you had a bunch of them set up, you would see a whole list, but we only have the Google call extension set up. Activate. And now we are all set up with Google ads, mobile click to call, our snippet is firing. We're all set and ready to go. Now for mobile click to call, we're gonna go back into call rail, go into our tracking, take that number, and then we're gonna go back to, so we're gonna go into our campaign. We're gonna go into our ads, extensions, and we're gonna see our call extension. So we're gonna go in here, click edit. We're gonna change our number. So that's the call tracking number. Remember, this is from call rail. We're putting that in here. I'll make it look the way that they want it. And we want mobile click to call. You can use it for all, cause we're gonna use that same number for all the campaigns. Click save. And it's under review. I'm gonna make a separate video in case sometimes these get rejected, then there's just a way you have to link up to a different, uh, do a different uh, verification and then it'll go through. But a lot of times these will, these will work. So now it's set up. Let's go back into our conversions. Mobile click to call. Make sure all of our settings are right. So we have mobile click to call as the name. It is a phone call lead. Cancel. You can add a value if you want. I usually don't. Calls from ads. Count this as um, one conversion. Not every one because we don't want to count every phone call. Now this one for mobile click to call gives you an option. So you can do a call length. We like to put 60 seconds minimum. So if it's a 60 second call, then that usually means it's a decent sales call. If it's under 60 seconds, I don't wanna count that as a conversion because that was not a good lead. Click through conversion window. I wanna set that 60 days. And now for mobile click to call, I wanna make this the, uh, the first click because that's if they're on their phone or if they're looking at it on their desktop, that's the first click that they take. So I wanna count that as a first click conversion. Save. We'll go back. 
if we want to do the keyword tracking, we're gonna to have to go back to our campaign. Okay, so now I'm at the account level. So you can see if I click on my campaigns up here, I, can, I have the option to see campaigns and then settings. Now, if I go to the account settings, this is where you can have call reporting and make sure it's turned on, okay? That has to be turned on in order for this to work. So once that's saved, then we're gonna go to our campaign level. And you're gonna click on campaign settings. Here you can hover, or you click on both of them, click edit. And we're gonna to need to add a tracking template parameter to these campaigns to properly track all the keywords associated with these. So when you go in here, you're gonna say change tracking templates. Okay, so in order to find this tracking template, it's not super easy in, in uh, call rail. So I'm gonna add it, I'm gonna copy and paste it in the notes below, but I'm also gonna show you how to find it. So when you go back to your, your, um, your call rail account, so what I did, I went to Google Ads, and right here there's an article. And then right here there's a link And then if you scroll down right here, keywords aren't appearing in call rail, then you click applying the parameter to it. <laughs> so I'll set up a, I'll, I'll get this link too and put it in there too. Here it is. This is the parameter that you wanna put in at the uh, campaign level. So copy that, put it right here and hit apply. Now this is gonna be applied to all the URLs that you have in each campaign so you don't have to do it uh, individually okay and it, it can take a little bit of time so just be patient with it so we have that if i hit close now we can test to make sure that it's being shown on the the landing pages so we're going to go and we want to do that by changing the columns here so you're going to change your column modify and then right here you'll see tracking template i'll move it up to the front so you can see Now really you just kind of, you don't have to put the URL in there because it's already, it's already in the ads. So if you just hit test, it'll show you if these are found. And all of mine have been found. Save, and now we're done. So now that it's all found, all the conversions are set up, um, we are ready to rock and roll. So then you can log into your account. When you go up to analytics, so you can see now which, uh, which tracking number you have, the time, the call duration, who it was, first time call, if you have a, a circle to first time call, the keywords associated with it, and then we can optimize accordingly. So now you can track the call extensions and the actual phone calls that are coming from your landing page. So uh, I hope that you found this helpful. If you like this content, please subscribe to this channel and give me a thumbs up. Um, please write me some comments too. If you have any questions, I'm happy to help. I really, I really enjoy doing this for some reason. It's a, uh, it really gets me all jacked up. So um, hope to see you in the next video. I'm going to have a lot more coming. Take care.